Hey everyone, this is Adder with another update about our Meditation Center fundraiser. This week we surpassed a hundred donors and it's been really wonderful to see how wide-reaching and engaged the Siri Mangalo community is. Today I want to take a little bit of time to tell you all a little bit about how the finances of Siri Mangalo International work. Normally we don't uh, talk in much detail about our finances because we want to make sure that everyone understands that the teachings are offered freely and all of the services the same uh, and that uh, that giving should be should be based on one's own expression of generosity uh, and not um, not to recompensate uh, a specific amount for any any course taken or any services from from our community that that you've taken advantage of. Um, so you know we want to remind everyone that that all of Bonte's teachings, all of the retreats that we run, uh, these really are available to the world for free uh, and through the generosity of of our community. Uh, but that said, in doing a fundraiser like this in hopes to build a new center. Uh, you know, or, or establish a new home for our meditation, it is uh, helpful to people to hear a little bit about how our finances work and, and why we have the goals that we do uh, and what, what giving money is actually going to go towards. Uh, we do publish our quarterly financial reports on the website at uh, sirimangalo.org info down on the bottom of the page there. So if you ever want to look at a summary of our finances, or if you want to uh, learn more, you can always hop on our Discord server and, and reach out to me, Adder, or any of the board members, and, and we can let you know more. So, so Siri Mangalo International is a registered charity in Canada, and we operate completely off of donations, off of the dana of our community. And we bring in about fifty to sixty thousand dollars Canadian dollars each year, and spend most all of that um, in a given year, at least fifty thousand uh, dollars. And a solid, a solid half of that is goes to paying rent for the house that that we run the center out of. Um, so we're just renting a, a regular sized family home. Uh, we can get about five meditators in at a time, though of course less right now as we've taken uh, precautions to deal with coronavirus. Um, and so it's, uh, you know, it's a pretty big financial burden uh, to be putting sort of half of the, the donations towards paying the rent in a relatively small center. So our thinking for establishing a new center is really uh, having ownership of some property by the organization itself rather than having to, to rent. Um, so we have this fundraising goal of $300,000. Now it's a, it's a pretty rough number. Uh, if we surpass it or if we find ourselves a little bit short, we will uh, still likely be able to use those funds to establish a new center. But, um, but $300,000 works out nicely to match with um, some of the properties that we had looked at. We looked at a number of places in the six dollars to $800,000 range that are you know, commercial properties like a bed and breakfast or a church that we could convert into, uh, into a, more of a center that, that can handle more people and we can build more community out of. Uh, so based on rough calculations, if we had $300,000, we could put a down payment on an $800,000 property and have our monthly mortgage payment be about the same as the rent we're paying now. Uh, alternatively, we could get a smaller property that's closer to what we have and, uh, and actually reduce our monthly uh, payments because we would be able to, um, to put more down and you know, more of a proportion of the total cost as a down payment and, uh, and not be 
be having to rent. Um, so again, you know, as we continue this fundraiser, it's really up to, to the generosity of our community and we will, we will take whatever, um, whatever funds are raised and figure out a way to use them wisely and efficiently and uh, in service of, of the Dhamma. Um, yeah, I'm, I think that's, uh, that's all I have to, to share about that. Just wanted to give you all a feel for uh, why it is that, that we're, um, we're reaching out and, and trying to raise some money and, and how we'll get to use that and how that will benefit uh, all the meditators who come to the center in the future for the first time and all of those of us who plan on returning to the center uh, as soon as as soon as we're able or when when the time is right. I want to remind you all that we're still gathering uh, stories for our, our testimonial series, looking for people to share their personal story of meditation and, and their path and their involvement in Siri Mangala or just the ways that, uh, that the practice of mindfulness has changed their life. Uh, so please feel free to record your story and reach out and um, we can tell you more about that if you need any help. Uh, until next time, I wish you all wellness and happiness. Thank you. Take care.